April is Jazz Appreciation Month, and we wanted to introduce you to two people who are mentoring musicians both on and off the stage. And the graduates of Benjamin Franklin High School are helping shape the jazz scene right here in Philadelphia and beyond. Tamala Edwards has that story in this week's Art of Aging. For the last 40 years, Lovett Hines has been instrumental in growing budding musicians into some of the greats. Joey D. Francesco was one of my students, Tristan McBride. He started teaching his own music program at the Philadelphia Clef Club of Jazz and Performing Arts in 1985. To help musicians develop, educate, and present. Hines, a musician himself, grew up in North Philadelphia. You had places like the Uptown, the Met in our neighborhood. <laughs> Saxophonist Odine Pope also grew up there. Philadelphia has a great legacy of turning out great musicians. Out of high school, I started playing in R&B groups all over Philadelphia. I met a great drummer named Pete Vincent, and we formed a group called Heem. A lot of artists came out of that. Pope recorded with a group called Catalyst. He was my first mentor. Hines says he got to know Pope better when they started working together at a summer music camp. He's one of those educators that don't need a class. It's very important that you sit down and talk to one another. It's more than music. I know you remember this. Oh, yeah. Looking at archival photos of the Clef Club is like a walk down memory lane for these two. Gerald Veasley. This was the beginning of the saxophone choir. I call it Mr. Philadelphia Music now. They were part of the arc of many iconic musicians' careers. Got some history here. On April 20th, Pope will perform with Reggie Workman as part of the Jazz Cultural Voices series. We wanted to bring icons in the music itself, but they're a major treasure here, mentoring so many other artists. He's passing great valuable information on down to generations. Tamala Edwards, Channel 6 Action News.